division in the past, none bigger, of course, than 2008 when a trotting filly named Cadalia pulled off a 75 to 1 stunner. She paid $152 for a $2 bill. We've got a good group here lined up in behind the gate, four to five right now on Joviality. Fresh off that impressive elimination score in 52 and one last week, five to two on the two horse Jiggy Jog. We are set for a start. Here they come. And they're off. Fashion Schooner made a break. Fashion Schooner, Tietrich lost her right from the word go. Good beginning in the center. Miss Walner Fashion steamrolls to the top. Speed outside comes from Raised by Lindy. Down to the inside, third away, Jiggy Jog. Fourth to her wheel is Joviality. Fifth inside to Bear My Soul. Six limbed out is Warwee Xenia. She'll look to take a first turn tuck. Further back at the inside, two mischievous rows. Then well off the speed. Back there, eighth inside now is Pure Countess. Trotting up ninth is Venerable and just refusing to reset in the the backfield just doing so now is fashion schooner 27 and 1 that opening quarter miss walner fashion on top here from mccarthy his body language says he expects some company sooner than later it's raised by lindy in the pocket spotted 53 to 1 jiggy jog continues to sit patiently third inside joviality awaiting her move she's back into fourth fifth in at the rail trots along bear my soul warwee zini is going to get into the flow and her excitement on the outside is sure to get a couple out in front of her jiggy jog is on on the move now. Joviality commits to the outside, so the race is on at a 56 and one half. Second panel, 29 seconds to the final turn. Miss Walner fashion leads just over a length now. Raised by Lindy, second with three eighths to go. Jiggy Jog is activated on the outside. Leader made a break. Miss Walner fashion blew up. So is Jiggy Jog is sweeping up to take the top now. Back into second, raised by Lindy. Joviality's up into third, then fourth inside to bear my soul on cover outside. Fifth is Warwee Xenia. She's three off the lead at three quarters in 124 and one raised by lindy at the inside braces for jiggy jog outside third is joviality bear my soul and warwe xenia deep stretch jiggy jog to the top for dunn and jiggy jog takes command raised by lindy puts up a valiant fight at the inside jiggy jog and raised by lindy and joviality it's jiggy jog and dunn to score again in 151 and one it's a stakes track and canadian record Jiggy Jog uh, was clearly the best here tonight. Uh, she had to go a tough trip when a half came up in 56 and 1, Randy. I mean, look at who was following her, Joviality. Then next in line on the outside, Warwee Xenia. Two that have got lethal late kicks, but it didn't matter. Jiggy Jog and Dexter Dunn, four straight, and it's a new stakes track Canadian record, 51 and 1. Amazing. You know, and uh, it, it just... it. So many intangibles in that race. Fashion mm -hmm. Schooner making a break. Very if she cute. comes out of there, then it's a different race. Yep. But because Yannick was able to get out of there the way that he did, then it became a different race again. You know, that's the beauty of these races. Because of the depth, there's just so much different kind of a driving going on. Like, it just, it, it really is a cool, cool um, setup. But I, I mean, to me, Jiggy Jog has, has been racing fantastic all year. And she raced fantastic last week. And she was the best horse in this race because she didn't get the easiest trip in this race. Well, and they're going 29 seconds in the second quarter. Yeah. Dexter could have easily said, I'm going to blast. Right. He doesn't. No. He opts to come first over. Yeah. Does that not signal he has just got that much confidence in this filly? I think that much confidence, but I think what also that signals is just the fact that he can read a race so well. Yeah. I mean, you know, th there was a lot of long shots up there. I think in Dexter's mind, at some point, they were going to come back to him. He wanted to move her as, as slow as he could and, move, and, and come with her at a creep. And then he was able to rattle off this last quarter in 27 seconds flat, first over. I mean, that was... A, and, and, you know, when he come to the head of the lane, he's got Brian sitting on his back with Joviality S. He's got Bobby sitting on Brian's back. But at the end of it, it was just all Dexter. I think Dexter did a great job there. And yeah. I think that the filly is just, she just raced out of her out of her skin. And another great Walner filly gets to the winner's circle in yep. the Breeders' Group. Another Walner. Ocus Vaughn's got another trophy. And Dexter Dunn doubles up tonight. That's 10 overall, Ken. Jiggy Jog and 51 and 1. 51 and 1 lowers the stakes record set by Next Level Stuff at Hoosier Park back in 2020. And she has lowered her own track any Canadian record performance which she established here last week in winning her elimination. It's Jiggy Jog with a photo in front of the teletimer here tonight. Jiggy Jog three-year-old Walner filly out of the Cantab Hall Mare, hot mess Hanover. She was bred by Vestmarke AB of Sweden is owned by Jorgen Spardal incorporated of Delray Beach, Florida. Trotting filly sent out by trainer Oka Svonsted. 
The caretaker, Rene Lopez, Dexter Dunn mapping out the winning trip. It's her eighth win this year from 13 attempts. Career victory number 10 for Jiggy Jog. And she becomes one of Harness Racing's newest millionaires with a victory here tonight as Jiggy Jog has captured the Breeders' Crown three-year-old Philly Trot final. A record-setting performance all around, stakes, track, and Canadian record. Trophy presentation made to winning connections tonight. Fourth race sponsored by Terra Hills Farms. David and Nora Heffring from that popular nursery. Trackside tonight to congratulate Team Jiggy Jog. Trainer Svonstead, driver Dunn on a Breeders' Crown Triumph. And the price is up for tonight's fourth race in winning two Jiggy Jog paid six eighty to win two dollar exact to two twenty six twenty the two dollar daily double thirty five twenty dollar trifecta to two thirty one eighty five dollar superfect to three thousand seventy seven dollars fifty five cents the one dollar pick three completed paid forty three dollars ninety cents we got the early pick four wager underway pool was just shy of a hundred and three thousand dollars there's over thirty one thousand in live money moving on. Jiggy Jog wins the three-year-old Philly Trot Breeders' Crown, and Dexter Dunn already has two crown titles on the evening. He joins me in the winner's circle right now. And Dexter, last week we talked about this filly, and you mentioned she had even more in the tank when she set a new track record. She beats that here tonight. How good was she? Uh, she was great. You know, she was so good last week and um, gave me a lot of confidence with her coming into the night. So, you know, we got away pretty handy. But it was, you know, I always had joviality on my back, so I was always worried about that. But... Um, you know, my filly was just uh, extremely strong up the straight tonight. Felt like up the backside that you were just uh, waiting as long as you could before you committed to first up? Yeah, Toddy's one was going pretty strong on the front there, so we were sort of just waiting to, you know, we had to move at some stage. We were just sort of waiting for the right time. But, um, you know, when we moved, we sort of, um, you know, she got running a little bit last turn and Toddy made a break and me and yeah, got sort of caught up for a second. And uh, But once you hit the straight, she really kicked on great. Now 10 Breeders' Crown victories for yourself, and in the last four years, you've won at least two each time. Talk about your success in this series. Oh, I've had to, you know, lucky to be driving some good horses, you know. If I didn't stuff, stuff some up, I probably would have won a few more, Stewie. But, um, you know, it's, it's a great night. It's a great weekend to be a part of, and just lucky to be here. Well, congratulations. Already two, and still many opportunities to come. Best of luck. Yeah, thanks, Rob. All right, Dexter Dunn. Jiggy Jog, 150, one and one in the Breeders' Crown. Let's look at the rundown. 